Greetings viewers all over the world. Thank you for watching Charis TV. During the service, a man of God called a man who was a Sangoma and Papa came forward and he will be introducing himself to us. Papa, tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Uh, my name is Solira Mato. I'm staying in Tembisa with Mandela. Uh, home, I'm coming from Palabura Namakale. Uh, Papa, can you please tell us, uh, the man of God called for a man who uh, was a Sangoma and you came forward. Can you please tell us how did this all start? Papa, uh, I would like to say that 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 I would more <laughs> My brother is telling us that all these things started as him uh, being sick and he went to another Sangoma for healing and they told him that he has to be a Sangoma because of this and sisters are coming from his father's side, his mother's side, so he had to be a Sangoma. Papa, can you please tell me, when you were initiated, what was going on? What are the things that they wanted? Papa, initiate, and then you look in the Rina Gale, Nagale, Puli, Jeperi, La Mayuala, Lil Case Jamayuala, Kamuga, Jao Tao Dramo Tasson. For Papa to be initiated, they needed 10,000 rand, and also he had to buy some uh, um, things that they needed, which are some beers and ETC. Papa, can you please tell me? Uh, when you are initiated, where did you go? Some they say they go to the river, they go away. Where, where now? Where did you go? Yeah, even me, I went to the river, but uh, I didn't go underwater. But uh, some of other my bones, I found them in the river there where I was uh, initiated uh, for the ancestors. They are called, uh, they are calling them uh, Vandau. Uh, it's where I got some of other my bones. Uh, it, it, it is like the way when my grandmother, who I took uh, uh, the, the, this this thing from, see, even him, even her, she was uh, Sangoba and she she went uh, uh, underwater when uh, she was supposed to become a Sangoma. Papa, please tell me when, uh, for how long did you stay in that um, river? Uh, it was the same day. It, did, it didn't take so long. It was something for two hours there. Okay, let's go to these things that you were using. Let's start with this cloth. What were you using them for? Uh, this cloth, uh, is those clothes uh, they were using by my ancestors and uh, all other staffs. Uh, I was using uh, them to help my customers, those who were coming uh, looking for help to me. And we can see also uh, bananas day. What were you using these uh, bananas for? Uh, these bananas, uh, I was using them uh, to eat a rush if a person is having the rush. So I was burning those uh, bananas and then so when uh, is powder and then uh, I, I I apply it on those or uh, on that rush which uh, it is coming uh, a sort of something like a, a water okay. and then so I I, I apply uh, banana. th those bananas on top of those rushes and then to heal them. And what about these things? I don't know what to call them. Trees, the one that have things. 
outside. What were you using them for? Uh, this one is for making uh, something uh, we call it uh, nongobani. Uh -huh. And that nongobani is working uh, to fight uh, against witchcraft to, to fight uh, with another Sangomas uh -huh. when maybe they, they cast the best uh, yeah. bad spell to me. To me, to me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And we can also see those things of trees. What is the name of that tree? Uh, the name of that tree is uh, Mutunzi Mkolo, mm -hmm. uh, which means uh, big a big shadow. Mm -hmm. uh, that one, uh, I was using it uh, uh, to protect uh, the families. Also, other people who are coming uh, to me when they want to be strong, so that I was protecting them with that moti. Also, if those who want to be fearless at work, I was using that moti. And um, this tree, where is it found? Yeah, this tree, you will find it at the mountain. Uh -huh. Yes. And what is the, the, that thing next to the tree, those things, what are those? Oh, that grass, uh, we call it Tlokwalatzela. Uh, uh -huh. uh, it's like a Tlokwalatzela and Wow, That grass, uh, I, I was applying the muti on that grass. If the, there is a house breaking or uh, someone uh, breaking into the car, so that I apply muti on that grass. And then when I burn that uh, grass, uh, and then on that uh, uh, win uh, window of the, of the car, where the, where, where, whatever the, 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 there is a breaking, and then when I am burning that uh, grass and speaking or uh, the, the, the the person who who uh, who break or stole everything, they, those things they must go and catch him. So you're saying you were using that grass and to catch a person who will be doing, let's say, a house break or who will be stealing a car. Yes. Okay. And we are seeing that alone there. What were you using it for? Uh, that one uh, I was using. It's uh, it's like a, you call it. Uh, it's like a alvein. Yeah, I was using it uh, I, together with other mutis to heal a stroke. Okay. So people who are having stroke, were they really healed? Yeah, others they were healed, but others they, are, they were not healed. Mm -hmm. And this big grass here, what is it for? Yeah, this uh, big grass is for healing those, the, especially the, the widows. A, a woman or a, a man who uh, is uh, his partner mm -hmm. uh, passed away. It's either his husband or his wife when he passed away, and then we are using this grass to, to heal him, to remove that uh, spirit of that uh, dead person. Oh, so you mean that, let's say, a husband and a wife, they are married, and one of them dies. You use this grass to mix it with other motifs so that the spirit may leave the wife. And what about this side? We are seeing leaves. What are these leaves for? Oh, those leaves, they are coming from uh, this one we are talking about. Okay. Oh, they are working the same thing? Yes. And then what about these sticks here? Yeah, those sticks, uh, I was using them uh, to those people who, who are doing the business when they need people to come and buy. And then I was using those uh, sticks and that, but I was making them powder so that uh, when I uh, is going to bath and then uh, many customers, they will come to uh, his business or her business. So there was a rumor of uh, these people who are selling in the streets, they can go to a Sangoma and Sangoma gives them something to put on the food that they are selling. Is it true? Yeah, it is true. But to me, since I was a Sangoma, when uh, someone uh, is selling the fruits uh, like that, I just give him the mood to, to bath so that the, the custom uh, will come uh, will come will, 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 will come to him or uh, will come to her so to, to buy his uh, items. And we can see many wool here of different colors. What are these wool for? Uh, those wools I was using them. Other wools, and then uh, I used to knit them and uh, make a rope, uh, make a rope uh -huh. 
and then maybe and then I, I tie a person on, on, on the waist uh, so that uh, to protect him. But if he maybe has got the, the enemies who we are fighting with, so that um, I'm doing that rope so that whatever his enemies uh, they are doing anything to him or to her, and then so that that rope will fight uh, with those enemies. And we are seeing other sticks here. What are these other sticks for here, close to the spirit? Uh, those other sticks are the same. This mood. this one I already grinded. This this one I was waiting to grind. So tell me, why is your all mutis here dry? I don't see any which is not dry. All of them are dry. Why are they are all dry? Yeah, uh, they must be dry so that they are able to use them. Because if they are they are wet, you can't know how to use them. So that they must get dry so that you must grind and then so that you will make it powder and when we use it, it's going to be simple. And this spirit and also these round things here which have uh, round things on top of them, what were you using them for? Uh, the, uh, the spirit uh, is goes with the, some of other teas here. Uh, I mix those teas and the, the, that spirit, if someone, uh, they gave him poison, and then I was uh, cooking that spirit together with other some teas so that when he is drinking that he is, is removing that uh, poison. And also we are having this thing which looks like a tail of a horse. This tail of, hey, what is it for? Uh, that one, uh, I was using it uh, when I was dancing, when we have got the ancestral ceremonies. Uh, together with those, uh, this one, I was wearing them for my ancestors. Uh, when I don't have those things, uh, of which means uh, I am not a uh, Sangoma, so they did me this, those things after I was uh, graduated. So if somebody comes and steal them, it means you're not a Sangoma? If someone will come and steal them, of which means I am no longer a Sangoma, so that I must go back to my trainer to tell him about this issue. But if you can steal this thing because it's not belong to you, it's either you are going to become mad or uh, the ancestors and then they can direct you in a wrong way so that you can be killed. We are having this container written Nzova. Oh, that Nzova, this moti, we are using it uh, so that uh, when someone wants to be, uh, be with you, especially for a witchcraft, when I'm using that uh, muti uh, to bath with it so that everything, whatever they do to me, the, the bad spell with the, the cast to me, uh, they can't do me, their muti will never work to me. We sing this calabash, the round calabash. You have clothed it with a red and blue cloth. What is it that for? Because every Sangoma that's ever surrendered is having that calabash. What is that calabash for? Yeah, that calabash is the one uh, we call it uh, Nongobane. Yeah, that uh, Nongobane, there is a muti inside of, and then those mutis, if someone I have to make someone strong to protect him against the family, uh, the witchcraft, and then uh, after, and then I, ba uh, I bath him, and then I was using also that uh, uh, Nongobane, when after I I cut him and so that I, uh, I can apply muti on, uh, on his body and I was also applying that Mungovane. Uh, so, Papa, please tell me, when a person would come to you and say, I cannot get children, what would you do for that person? Uh, if a person is coming to me and then I check first if when I'm consulting the ancestors or this person I can use teas or I will use muti so that uh, and I actually I first go to my bones and uh, check or what happened, why he's not getting uh, children or this is the work of a witchcraft or is either his ancestors, to, they don't want him to have a child or, uh, or maybe he took those things uh, somewhere else and then I will explain to him or uh, the, the reason why you are not getting uh, children is one, two, three, and then I will say what uh, I have to do, and then the ancestors, and then they will tell me, or uh, 
take this muti and this muti and then cook for him and drink. After he drank, then he saw that uh, those motors they will clean his swamp and then uh, when he's going to meet uh, with his partner and then when he's going to fall pregnant. Mm -hmm. And have you ever found cases where somebody would say, uh, I want to kill somebody or I want to make somebody crazy? Yeah, many people, yes, they, they came to me and they're asking uh, such of those things. Yes. Uh, since I was trained, but uh, I didn't get uh, the, the, the good results because all those uh, I was doing, I was failing. And the, the way I was failing, it was showing me something uh, that. And then after I was failing, when I was checking, uh, go through to my bones, I found that uh, some of other my ancestors, they don't want me to kill. They want me to heal people so that uh, they must move on with their lives. And have you ever had cases of somebody wanting to come and to remove uh, the baby or abortion? Yes. What would you do for that person? Uh, first time I was refusing uh, those who want to uh, remove uh, their pregnancies because uh, to me it was, it was not good but I end up uh, trying to do it because when I'm not doing that, I was looking so that I'm not working and yeah. this is part of my job. And then if I refuse, and then uh, they will tell others yeah. that uh, that Sangoma don't know how to do this and don't know how to do this. So if a, 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 a person is coming, what would you mix for that person for abortion? Uh, and then uh, for abortion, uh, especially uh, there is uh, that, uh, we call it the stamata. Yeah, so we buy a stamata mm -hmm. and you boil that stamata. Mm -hmm. And then when it's warm, and then uh, when uh, a person is drinking it, and then it's going to make an abortion. Mm -hmm. Just like that? Yes. You don't mix with anything here? Uh, yeah, uh, there's uh, nothing I mix with it. Uh, only what I can mix here, if maybe uh, a woman doesn't see date, mm -hmm. and then it's when I mix the motus or I cook them some teas so that he can start uh, seeing date. Every time uh, uh, many people would say, Sangha must give them something to, to eat when they talk with people and toss it out. What is that thing? Uh, when we use it uh, to speak to someone. Mm. Oh, uh, that way uh, we call it a uh, jere mm -hmm. or a boma. Mm. And then when we are using it, when we talk to someone, then he, he will uh, agree with what you, what you are asking or whatever you are saying, and then he's going to agree with you. On this old trees, is there any voma here? Any what? Voma. Yeah. You said Vuma. Yeah, there is a Vuma here. Yeah. Oh, oh, so this is Vuma. Yes, this is Vuma. Uh -huh. uh, this is white Vuma. There is a red Vuma. Okay. Uh, this looks like any root, uh, like a, it's a root, oh, okay. uh, but we call it a red Vuma. It's not the same with this one, uh, this white one. Papa, once I interviewed this other lady who was a Sangoma, and they said that some of their um, her mutis, she would kill a newborn dog and then make a muti from that and crush it and make a muti from that. Were you having animals that you were using? Yeah, that, uh, there was uh, uh, still a lot of things which I, I was supposed to learn because after you have become a sample, you find that there is no, you, you don't know many things. Because while you are, every day, you, you are learning uh, new things because uh, what I know, uh, others, uh, what I can, I can tell you about that, uh, the, the, the small dog, mm -hmm. and then uh, the small dog, we are uh, using it, uh, you kill it uh, before it can open eyes, because uh, there is uh, another trap they set uh, for, for anyone, if maybe they want to destroy their enemies. Mm -hmm. When they set that trap, and then that trap uh, is going to catch a, a that person they, they send the trap to. 
uh, is going to affect, uh, is going to, or uh, maybe it's going to have a, a cancer. Mm. Yeah, that cancer will find that uh, is not getting healed. It's something like a wound which is not going to be healed, so that uh, that uh, dying dog, and then after you have killed it and burned it, and then it's going to make a, a powder. And that powder, and then when we are healing that person, we are going to use uh, that powder of the small dog and then so that a person can heal to that uh, cancer. So you only know of a dog. Is there other of any animals that you can alert us to know? Any animal that they use, that you have knowledge of, and how do they use it? Mostly they say they use monkeys. Uh, monkeys, uh, they, they use it especially the, 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 the brain of the monkeys. Mm -hmm. And then we, we use it together with other muti, and then we mix that, that the brain of monkey, we mix it uh, with the Vaseline. Mm -hmm. With other muti, we call it Telewone. It's not found here in South Africa, it's at Mozambique. Mm -hmm. And then when we mix that uh, muti with the brains of a uh, monkey, and then if uh, there is uh, someone who is not uh, educated, maybe doesn't, uh, is not, is not uh, intelligent yes. at school. And then if he's going to use that Vaseline mixed with those uh, mutis, and then uh, whatever is going to learn, he will never forget. Is that the only thing that you know? Yeah. Uh, some of other mutis, uh, but uh, the oil of a, the, 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 of a python, and then we are using it to remove uh, sejeso, mm -hmm. and that uh, a gall yeah. of a python, and then also is removing uh, that uh, sejeso. Many people here, uh, when the men of God will be praying for them, they will be coming forward, they will be saying, I'm having a spiritual husband, I'm having a spiritual wife, I'm eating in the dreams. What would be happen happening to those people? Uh, those people, when they, they are dreaming while they are busy eating, uh, it is God uh, trying to show them that there is something which is happening to them, but they can't know how to explain it. When you find that you are eating something while you are eating, you will find that you are eating animal, maybe like a frog mm -hmm. or a rat, and then it is the witchcraft they came to you. You will see that maybe you are eating a chicken or a rice. You find that it's not those things. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can say, I was dreaming when I'm eating rice, but you find that it's not rice. Only your dreams and eyes, you, you, saw, you saw rice, but you find that you were eating the, the worms. And uh, when a person would be saying, I'm having a spiritual husband, what would be happening to that person? Uh, the spiritual husband, like maybe he's dreaming when he's sleeping with a... a man or a wife. Uh, there are many people who have got uh, some togolosh. And then those uh, togolosh, uh, maybe if that togolosh is for a, a, a man, and then... Uh, that person must find a, a woman for that Togolo so that he must, that uh, Togolo must not give him a problem because that uh, Togolo uh, will uh, command the, uh, his owner or a owner so that I need a wife and then so that he must see if maybe his neighbor the, 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 there is a girl and then he's going to tell that Togolosh and then uh, your, your, your wife is a certain person is calling by the name and say name. That Togolosh every night is, will go and sleep with that girl. They, 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 they mentioned to, to Togolosh that, 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 that it will be your wife. In all these things, Baba, you have seen that there is too much deception. And as you said, they, they would send a tokoloshi to a, a person that go and sleep with that particular person. What have you learned in this, all these things? Uh, what I learned uh, from all of this, in the, there is no benefit. Because also if you, 
As we are aware, we are many uh, Sangomas. Other Sangomas, they are jealous if maybe they see that we have got a lot of customers and we are helping people. Other Sangomas, they are also witchcraft. And then so when you are healing people, and then they will try to send a bell spell to you so that uh, the, the, there's no other customer coming to you because some others we are disturbing them to do their own jobs. Papa, today you have accepted Jesus to be your Lord and personal Savior. How are you feeling about that? I'm feeling very great because uh, even many uh, other of my families, my relatives, they were fighting with me over this thing. They, 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 they wanted, because also them, they wanted to become a uh, Sangoma as yes, mine. They, they think maybe it's a good thing to become a Sangoma, but to me, I saw it, it is very difficult because I've got uh, many limits from those things. That I can't move on with my, with my life because they will say, do this, don't do this, do this, don't do this. So always, uh, I, I, was a, I was a target to my family and my relatives. Uh, because they always uh, talking a, a lot uh, about me, how I became a Sangoma. Even me, I didn't say I want to become a Sangoma. I just followed uh, the way I was being told that you were supposed to become a Sangoma. So that I, all, for, for all of this, I see as it is useless to me. So because. What can you say to other viewers out there who are still believing in all these things and who still believe that this thing really works? And there are many people out there who are told that your grandfather or your grand grandfather was a Sangoma, you have to take over. As today, even you, you were deceived that way that you have to take over from your father and your mother's side. What can you say to them? Uh, to the viewers, uh, I can say uh, they must never like to become the Sangomas because. These things, you will do the, 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 the wrong things. When you are a Sangoma and then you end up going to do those things which God doesn't like, but to ancestors, they will, uh, they, they, they will want you to do it because if you are not going to do it, it's either you are not going to get customers and then there is a lot of things which is happening here. That, that's why I end up when other Sangomas, they are telling me, when we are together with other Sangomas, they are telling me that uh, if you want a lot of customers, do this and do this. And, and at, at the end, you will end up uh, killing your families so that you are going to use their blood so that you will get the customers. So that uh, to me, I, don't, I, I, I didn't want to kill uh, my families. If maybe someone is going to die in my family, they will say, uh, that guy is a Sangoma, uh, his brother, his mother is dead, so that uh, it is lucky for me because I live uh, to become uh, to be a Sangoma uh, before many things happened. happened. My brother, we thank you so much for coming to Jesus, and I believe that Jesus will do great things in your life. Viewers, you just heard it from my brother. Wake up and smell the coffee. Be happy that you have Jesus in your life. And if you are having the same very problem that my brother was facing, come to Charis Missionary Church and encounter, surrender all these things, accept Jesus to be your Lord and personal Savior. And I promise you, your life will never be the same. Thank you for watching Charis TV and stay blessed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.